Hey guys, this is Brandon with USF1 coming to you with a new episode of No The Grid series. This time we're talking about Red Bull. Although not so new anymore, having been in Formula 1 for 12 years now, sorry, 12 years now, still kind of new, but they are one of the new teams to have won multiple championships in Formula 1, at least in this past 25 to 30 years. Um, that is due to the billionaire soft drink uh, owner of Red Bull, Dietrich Matchwitz, formed an F1 team in 2005, having bought the remnants of Jaguar racing team from Ford. The company had previously sponsored several Formula 1 drivers. Uh, he appointed Christian Horner to run the team, who signals his determination to succeed by hiring of top designer Adrian Newey, who had crafted world championship winning cars for Williams and McLaren. Sebastian Vettel scored the team's breakthrough victory in 2009 and went on to finish second in the Drivers' Championship that year. Newey's racing winning R RB5 laid the groundwork for a series of championship winning cars to follow. In 2010, the combination of Vettel and the RB6 captured the Drivers' and Constructors' Championship for the team. Both driver and team retained their titles after a dominant 2011 campaign. Vettel and teammate Mark Webber racked up 12 wins in 18 pole positions in 19 separate races. In 2012, they became the first ever team to win their first three Constructors' Championship titles consecutively. Vettel added another driver's title after a hard-fought battle with Fernando Alonso, which went down to the last race. They remained on top in 2003, dominating the second half of the season as Vettel scored nine consecutive wins. Red Bull had a sister team, as you already know, Toro Rosso, which primarily exists to give up incoming drivers' race experience, evaluate their potential, and assess whether they should gain a place at Red Bull. Vettel was promoted from the team at the end of 2008. However, following an unsuccessful 2014, Vettel moved on to Ferrari. Daniel Ricciardo, who had been promoted from Toro Rosso as his teammate three races, remained and was joined by another of the team's graduates, Daniel Kvyat. Max Verstappen and Daniel Kvyat switched, and Max Verstappen now is the number two driver for Red Bull, and Daniel Kvyat is a equal driver with Carlos Sainz and Toro Rosso. Current drivers for Red Bull are Daniel Ricciardo from Australia, and Max Verstappen from the Netherlands. They also had an unsuccessful campaign, obviously, in 2015 and 16, because Mercedes also won the Constructors' titles in both those years. Um, but overall, Red Bull is a very solid team, and watch out for them in the future years. Hopefully, this year, they're going to be uh, put Mercedes to test, even though they did win a couple races last year. They should uh, hopefully challenge them more. Um, I will be coming back with more uh, with finishing out with Mercedes um, for the final episode of Know the Grid series. I'm Brandon with, with USF1, your source of Formula One news here in North America. Take care.